Welcome to our historical series, where we explore fascinating and unexpected moments from the past. Today we delve into the groundbreaking experiments of Dr. John Paul Stapp. Stapp was a pioneering figure in the world of aerospace medicine, known for his groundbreaking experiments that pushed the limits of human endurance. Born on July 11, 1910, in Bahia, Brazil, to Baptist missionaries, his primary focus was understanding how acceleration and deceleration affect the human body to enhance the safety of aircraft, spacecraft, and automobiles. Early in life, Stapp aspired to be a writer. However, a family tragedy in 1928 led him to pursue a career in medicine. In October 1944, Stapp joined the U.S. Army Air Forces as a physician and became a qualified flight surgeon. By 1946, he was assigned to the Aeromedical Laboratory at Wright Field's training facility in Dayton, Ohio, where his interest in testing human tolerance took off. Driven by the increasing speed and altitude of post-World War II aircraft, Stapp wanted to research human tolerance to G-forces, rapid spins, oxygen deprivation, and exposure to cosmic rays. This endeavor was partly sparked by witnessing ejection seat tests. He sought to answer pressing questions about the human body's limits when subjected to extreme forces during high-speed crashes. Stapp's initial experiments took place in early 1947 on a 2,000-foot track at Muroc Air Force Base, now Edwards, in California. Northrop Aircraft created a sled with rockets to produce a maximum speed of around 200 miles per hour and installed 45-foot-long hydraulic brakes at the end of the course. The sleds, which were codenamed g -Wiz, were meant to mimic the conditions pilots would face during such incidents. Stapp himself frequently rode the sled, even suffering injuries during the experiments that included a fractured wrist. The sled's brakes produced a deceleration of up to 35 g's, or 35 times the force of gravity. Before the experiments, it was believed that 18 g's of force would be fatal for humans. To pursue higher speeds and more extreme decelerations, Stapp relocated to Holloman Air Force Base in 1953. There, in collaboration with Northrop, he developed the advanced Sonic 1 No. 1 sled, equipped with a propulsion section and a water brake system that used a scoop to stop the sled by digging into dams. On March 19, 1954, Stapp, strapped into a jet pilot seat replica, made his first ride on Sonic Wind No. 1. Six rockets propelled the sled to a speed of 421 miles per hour, setting a land speed record. Subsequently, more objectives, such as testing human tolerance to wind blasts, were integrated into the experiments. On August 20, 1954, the sled reached a remarkable speed of 502 miles per hour, with Stapp exposed to the elements and surviving the ordeal. Stapp's most notable run took place on December 10, 1954. With nine rockets behind him, he reached a speed of 632 miles per hour in just five seconds. The 1.4 second deceleration subjected him to over 40 Gs of force. Emergency personnel had to remove him from the seat due to severe injuries, including burst blood vessels in his eyes, temporary blindness, cracked ribs, broken wrists, and circulatory and respiratory issues. His remarkable feat turned him the title of the fastest man on earth and a spot on the cover of Time magazine in September 1955. Despite his injuries, Stapp had plans to enhance the sled for a 1,000 miles per hour test. However, the Air Force intervened, recognizing the risks involved in further high-speed research. Following an unmanned mishap in June 1956 that damaged the sled, Stapp shifted his focus to the Manhai Project, collaborating with Dr. David Simons to study human endurance at the edge of space through high-altitude balloon flights. This research was crucial in ensuring astronauts could withstand the G-forces during launch and re-entry and the rigors of space travel. In 1957, 
Staff and his team launched Simons to a record-breaking altitude of 101,000 feet in a pressurized gondola as part of Project Man High. Lasting 32 hours, Simons was celebrated on the cover of Life magazine and hailed as the first spaceman. However, the era of man ballooning soon came to a close. With the launch of Sputnik by the Soviet Union in 1957, space exploration became a priority for NASA which took over research in this field. Staff assisted NASA in selecting astronauts for Project Mercury, the United States' first manned space program. Staff went on to conduct his final high-altitude balloon experiment, Project Excelsior, with the aim of developing an ejection system for rocket-powered jets at high altitudes. On August 16, 1960, test pilot Joseph Kittinger who had also worked on Project Manhai, ascended to an astonishing altitude of 102,800 feet in just 90 minutes, breaking records set by Simons in 1957. Kittinger's leap from the balloon resulted in the longest free fall and parachute jump in history, covering nearly 20 miles in just 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Stab's pioneering work clayed the foundation for advancements in aerospace safety. He developed safety innovations, including the side saddle harness, designed to protect paratroopers during rough landings. As experiments contributed to the development of safer aviation and space travel equipment, he later also developed a keen interest in the potential applications of his research in the realm of automobile safety and was a prominent advocate for the use of seat belts. After retiring from the Air Force in 1970, Stapp continued to make significant contributions as a professor, consultant, and chairman of various safety and research organizations. His efforts were recognized with numerous awards, including the National Medal of Technology in 1991 for his contributions to crash protection technology. The renowned adage known as Murphy's Law, which states, if something can go wrong, it will is also attributed to Edward A. Murphy Jr., an American aerospace engineer who collaborated with Stapp on the rocket sled experiment. Stapp later played a significant role in popularizing the phrase in its present formulation. Stapp passed away on November 13, 1999, at the age of 89, leaving behind a profound legacy in aerospace medicine and safety. His dedication to research and advocacy had a lasting impact, transforming safety standards and saving countless lives. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support. Until next time, farewell.